Okay, Sharon, I'm recording. So what's your reaction to the meeting uh, after you spoke and, and the meeting's over? Well, I was really excited to be able to come and speak myself. Um, although I didn't get to finish all of my thoughts, um, the big point as to why I was speaking tonight is I have really big concerns about the mayor and her continued um, ability to try to suppress, suppress speech of residents. And I have some specific examples that I will share with um, Mr. Miller that hopefully he will post to his magazine. But I was encouraged by the number of residents who came and spoke. I have real concerns about annexation, so it was really nice to hear a lot of other residents speak to that issue. Of course, we're gonna have issues um, coming forward like the parking garage that was addressed tonight too. Um, but our biggest problem and concern where we live in Warren County is traffic. And all of the development that's coming to Loveland is seemingly coming to that side of town. So we are really being hammered with additional traffic. And the annexation that's proposed is going to offer, you know, two, 250 homes. So we see that as a really big problem with traffic coming through Loveland and our ability to move through Loveland from where we live um, on the north side of 48. I appreciate you, Mr. Miller, coming and recording this. I think it's important for residents to know what's happening in Loveland. There's a lot of really big issues and we all need to stay engaged. And I encourage anybody who hasn't come to a meeting to come and express their opinions. So I won't get this published before the commissioners meet tomorrow, but what are, are you going to go to that meeting and what are your hopes at the county level? My husband happens to work for Claremont County, so he's had an opportunity to speak to the lawyers who are the lawyers for the commissioners. And basically what's gonna to happen tomorrow is a rubber stamp of what Loveland's already done. Um, he's been told that it's not likely that there's anything that they can do to stop them to go through the approval process. And that's because what they're dictated to do is only the formality to make sure that everything that has been submitted is per code, per rules. And so that, it's a formality really in terms of what's gonna be done um, tomorrow by Claremont County. I don't see any way that this is not going to happen. Uh, so it's really just a signature, they're not voting? I don't know if they're voting or not, but they're not voting on whether they approve it or they like it. Right. What they're voting on is, did it follow the rules? Yeah. That's it. So mm -hmm. on their part, it's kind of a formality and it's, it's going to go forward. I, I loved hearing from the lady who has been a resident of Loveland for so long and her impassioned speech about what Grailville means to Loveland, what it means to her. Um, to me, that was, that was something I hadn't heard before. So I'd like to meet her. I don't know where she is, but I'd like to meet her. I, I can tell you where to find her. Okay, that would be great. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.